Hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us in this first-round matchup of the National Invitation Tournament. Let's see how this matchup unfolds between the UTEP Miners and the Tulsa Hurricanes. Number 12 is a franchise-type player this team turns to night in and night out. Here's why this guy is so good. He's a sound offensive player that can do a lot of things well. When you add this incredible athleticism to that, it makes him very hard to contain. The Golden Hurricane will have quite a challenge on their hands trying to keep him in check. The Hurricanes might have a little trouble with these guys, Dick. Keys to their success depends on what? Hey, the keys to their success tonight are simple. First, it's up to the point guard to be the leader to control the entire tempo of the game. Second of all, it's imperative that you win the battle of the board. And lastly, execute defensively. Don't get caught going for the big steals or the big blocks. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Goes up for two. I love this guy, Hook. You can't unlock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Dumps it in. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. This defender is resilient, still applying pressure. This whole team that's on the floor is quick, but so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Tightly guarded. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Moving it around the perimeter. The shooting guard in the paint. Basket falls despite the contact. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for the foul. Number 24 makes the finger roll. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. to get it to the inside and he'll kick it back outside he shoots from long range he takes the board work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart trying to draw some contact they let him get into a rhythm showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Got the high pick. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. He unloads a three. Way off target. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Watch this again. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There's a double team waiting there. Gave it up, and there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Looking for a good shot. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Pull-up jumper from way out. Off the rim and no good. 
keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Number 12 is charged with the foul. They work it around the perimeter. Puts it up, looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. The shooting guard receives the ball. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Number 12 receives the pass. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Number 33. He's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Number 22 handles the pass. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Trying to go inside. The center handles the feed. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Knocks it down. We get another look. On the outside. Number 34 is called for the foul. Second team foul. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Kicks it out. Double team now. Bad angle. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Goes up for two. Easy one. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Working it around the perimeter. Working around the perimeter, looking for a good shot. From three-point territory, he takes another bad shot. Bad shots killed chemistry, Brad. Up and inside! The skip pass is picked off. around the arc top of the circle they work it around the perimeter Tulsa have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense Dick they're really on a nice run right here he shoots from the top of the circle way off target On the outside. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They get out on the break. Steals the ball. They're off into transition. Tries for two. Sinks it. Momentary look from three-point left. He gets the rejection. Three, three. 
Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? He shoots from the top of the key. Oh, you got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. With a rejection. And back they come the other way. Mary's at home. Trying to feed inside. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost well, some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. They work the perimeter. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Got it. Are they confused about who goes where on that double team? Oh, there's no doubt. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coach stressed to me this could happen. He told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not really rely on their one player. Right now, he's trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page. Thanks, Aaron. With a little baby hook. Doesn't go. A strip of a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. It's the first. Free throw is good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. We're going to move it around the perimeter. That's basic. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Perfectly executed. And now they'll bring it up. Number 50 makes the shot. And they get the turnover. On the dribble, gives it up. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and you spin back the other way. For the bucket, they still don't score. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Takes the three off the rim and no good. Excellent spacing. That's so important in a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They work it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter from downtown. Way off target. Gave it up. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. He's got an open look for the shot. He shoots from left to the circle. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. 
Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Moving it around the perimeter. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post player, great shot block right there. They had some good movement on the offensive side. Looking for a good shot. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He'll visit the charity strike. Makes the first. That's an 8-0 run. Second one, no good. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. There he is. Strips the ball loose. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. He blocks the shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. They're working around the arc. Defense giving some room. Puts it up. Tulsa are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Three. Makes a great move to draw the foul. Number 33 steps to the line for the first time. He missed it. Second one, good. Looking for a good shot. He dials long distance. Tickles a twine. On the outside. Unloads. Off the rim and no good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. No good. He sinks it. Dick, how's he working in defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help solid. This is getting ugly. 
Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. There they come with a double team to stop it. Strips the ball. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Way off target. He looks for three. He's money with the shot. That's absolutely sensational, even the second time. Picks off the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Stolen. He brought the ball back down to the floor and stripped them. Had a guy in the post but elected to reverse the ball. Number 50 with the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. They work the perimeter. He up fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. In and out. Goes and gets it. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tan on the shot clock. He takes the shot off the rim and no good. perimeter pump fakes ball comes back out from the post I tell you Brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man get that sucker out of the game man we're gonna move it around the perimeter there's the trap a little bit of a collision there, but no foul called there. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense. Not allowing him to make that turn. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Opportunity for two for one. He goes for three. He nails the shot. From the top of the circle, he showed some range on that shot. Working it around the perimeter. He makes a nice shot fake. There's the pick. There's the rope. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Tries to get the D to bite. At the half, the Hurricanes are up by 15. We've really been on a roller coaster here tonight, Dick. Any highlights of the half for our viewers? I picked this basket in a pain for the highlight of the first half. We saw lots of inside scoring in the first half. 
And I think it's going to be the key for both teams in the second half. Second half about to get underway. Let's go down to the action. Tulsa displayed a spectacular shooting performance, Dick, in that first half. Indeed, Brad. I predict the defense will come out and really be a lot sharper in the second half. They better be ready to play. Dick, start of the second half. We take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's kind of the ball in the deck. Where's he going? Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind. He's fluffing, baby. In the paint. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. Number two picks up the foul. First personal foul. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Stolen away. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. On the outside. Up fake. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Or two. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Looking for a good shot. Puts up the tray. There was no doubt about that one. The Hurricanes are ahead by 16. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Leans in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He shoots from the angle. Way off target. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He goes to the line. Foul shot is not good. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For the bucket and off the mark. Terry look and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. On the dribble, gives it up, fakes the shot. There's the fake with the jump hook and in and out. Now they're working around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. The Miners are down by 16. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop.
Working it around the perimeter. Top of the circle. There's the block. Wide open for the shot. He launches the bomb. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Intercepted. Gave it up. For two. He drains the bucket. The Miners are trailing by 18. In the paint. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. On the dribble, gives it up. Fakes the jumper. Here's the three ball. Makes the shot. The Hurricanes are ahead by 19. expression he says me he attempts a jump hook they still don't score Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And he'll kick it back outside. Goes for the deep one. Off the rim and no good. Wants a three. He gets that one to fall. They work it around the arc. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to find the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Nick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Way off target. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Picks off the lazy pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. He's trying to see if there's an easy one out there. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Number 50 draws the personal. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Number 50 to the line for two. Gets the first. Need to make that. A less than stellar performance, I'd say, at the line tonight. Less than stellar. You too nice a guy, Brad. They're shooting horribly from the line tonight. That was nice. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. 
It's good. They waited too long on that double. Yeah, that trap was snapped. On the outside. He attempts the trifecta. Off the rim and no good. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. And the jam. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Well, Dick, we're about halfway through the second half. Our focus player, how do you think he's doing tonight? Well, I think he's playing well, but unfortunately, his teammates are not helping. I mean, you can't win if just one guy's going to make plays. There's a reason they're called free throws. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. It's good. The Miners trail by 13. Looking for a good shot. There's a double team waiting there. Got an open look if he wants it. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Looking for a good shot. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. Here's a double team. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. Entry pass in the paint. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Kicking back outside. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, passing the block. Moves not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That's a 7 nothing run. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three quarter position. And that bucket's going to count plus one. A big time and one, baby. 53 gets his first action tonight, Dick. You ask me, Brad, this kid could easily be a starter. He gets it to go. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's throwing away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Gave it up. He takes the shot from the baseline. Knocks it down. He 
He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Look at that great defense right there. Not allowing him to make the turn. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I tell the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Number 11 coming in for the first time tonight. He will give this defense a different kind of threat at this position. Smart move. For the bucket. Doesn't go. This one's turning into a big blowout, baby. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. High post flashes for the opportunity. Goes up for two. And in and out. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Number 33 is whistled for the foul. Fourth personal foul. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For two, he gets it to go. They work the perimeter. With a bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Working around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Can't get the shot to go. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Number 32 gets his first minute. Very strategic substitution, Brad. Good decision by the coach. I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Trying to pack it inside. Tulsa are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Jumps in. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> they strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Spin move not going to work against the 
defense with that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Look at that spacing. He tries to knock down the three. Way off target. Steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Shots there if he wants it. He looks for the bomb. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Got a wide open look. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. Gave it up on the inside. Here they come with a double team to stop it. There it is, Jam City. Whistle blown. That's a backcourt infraction. You can't make those kind of mistakes in games like these, Brad. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Picked off. Number five is seemingly at an emotional low point at this moment, Dick. I hate to see a young man. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. They'll work it around the arc. Entry pass in the paint. Now the high screen. Double team now, Matt Angle. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper, way off target. He intercepts it on the dribble, gives it up. Looking for a good shot. He makes the block, blocks the shot. Here they go, into the break. He throws it up from downtown, off the rim and no good. Contact causes the shot to come off. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two, perfectly executed. Play that back for me one time. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first, initially he wants a three quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. For two, and he missed. Working it around the perimeter for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. And a 
Momentary look from three-point land. Check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Tulsa wins tonight in a blowout. After a game like that, it's hard to believe that these two teams were close in the standings. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad.